Next Sigma Lab is a blockchain research and development lab that works to promote blockchain adoption in various industries. With me is the Chief Technology Officer, Alex Labette of X Sigma. So, and you were with Facebook and Amazon, so you've had quite a bit of tech experience with a lot of big companies, right, Alex? Uh, hey, Jen, yeah, uh, thanks for having me. It's correct, so it was quite a journey. I work also for one inch. It's a uh, leading uh, DEX aggregator in a space, and I'm uh, a full time in the blockchain since 2017. Okay, and then um, so why this? Um, you, you've been working on stable coins, right, for a while, and what brought? Yes. It well, it's it's kind of personal story, to be honest. So I came from Russia, and unfortunately, during my short lifetime, I have a twice experience in my life when local currency totally crashed in 1993 and 1997. And not uh, only myself, but my parents got like hurt a lot. So, and it's a very unfortunate situation where uh, people, hardworking people, my mother worked as a teacher and father as a firefighter, uh, they lost all possessions because someone uh, from a uh, governmental body uh, did something wrong. And it's like, uh, you work really hard for your life and you lose everything because someone uh, who make a decision uh, mismanage it. And I thought, well, uh, what can be done better? And when Bitcoin went out, so I didn't trust it uh, before, but when it uh, became clear what technology is viable, I like uh, start having interest in like working in different project and finally join a full time in 2017 when I joined uh, underground hacker club called uh, Decentral in Vancouver. It's a very nice place. And uh, since then, this was my personal interest, crypto and stable coins especially because it's uh, what uh, a real economy shows what instead of gold, people use dollar right now. And with blockchain, inevitably, we will come to a similar system in terms of usability. Well, your story about your parents in Russia happened to people in the US too. So it's, you know, during the financial crisis and the housing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Even now, like even when everything seemingly great, I mean, you will lose 10% of your money this year because of how much dollars were printed in uh, 2020, like 38% of all like uh, dollars were issued in 2020. So this will kick in eventually. So yes, it's a common around the world, but obviously it's more a uh, bigger problem in the developing countries like uh, Ukraine, Argentina, Venezuela, etc. Very interesting. So how does your work at X Sigma make a difference? And you kind of touched on this, but how can everyday people use the technology to make their lives better? Great question. And so where our current company comes in play, so basically how it structurally looks, uh, Zik International is an ASDAQ traded entity and it spawns uh, X Sigma Labs. And X Sigma Labs developing all these DeFi projects. So basically have this uh, somewhat uh, specific positioning of being affiliated with a uh, NASDAQ traded entity and having completely decentralized DeFi uh, project help us to kind of join uh, kind of best practices from those two directions and help to make a easier uh, transition or kind of like entrance from people from a classical finance, uh, speculations, whatever stock trading world into real world uh, DeFi applications, not some private intranet, you know, private blockchains, but real Ethereum based completely not custodial solutions. And I think this is a very unique proposition of a Sigma here. Mm -hmm. And then how are so we've got a lot of kind of economic things going on global well there's nfts uh -huh. um, how would you how would people be able to use those to their benefit would you say oh yeah uh this is like a current boom on nft things happening and like uh, xsigma launching an nft platform to trade these collectibles from a sports player basketball in particular a lot of like a big stars uh from the sport uh, join like this platform but ultimately only this is kind of first step because digital art as an nft it might be here for stay or it might be just a short-term trend we don't know for sure but technologically nft platform is great you can tokenize everything from real estate to the business. So this is very, very huge market. And this NFT digital arts, like it's only like a first steps on a very big uh, yet undeveloped market. Right, yeah. I don't stable think, coins. Uh -huh. I, I don't think people realize, like they, they look at people and things like that. I don't think they realize that that same technology can be applied to real estate, 
you know, any kind of creative thing. I mean, so I, I do think, you know, NFTs are going to certainly develop. And then it's dig- going to be massive. Yeah. Uh, what about digital dollars? Like, uh, you know, we've got China coming up with one. Uh, yes. Okay. Like, so I, I say it on? ultimately, yeah, as, as a bigger trend, like we see what during COVID, like unfortunate event, but a lot of companies who didn't touch even internet before start moving towards digitalization. People working remotely. Uh, These companies start using internet inevitably. People and companies who use an internet will use internet money, which is like happens to be a cryptocurrency. But since the real world operates in a kind of dollar based fiat currency based like a unit of measurement, everyone will use sooner or later some sort of a stable coins. And we will see already trend where a centralized like a banking system of uh, China and the United States as well as Europeans all moving towards, yeah, let's have our own digital currency. Mm-hmm. And we've like, and right now in $2.5 trillion market of a cryptocurrency, less than 3% of this money actually in stable coin, this is nothing. We expect in the following year, like at least triple in terms of stable coin value. And the following two years, it will be at least 10x. It's our projection. So we don't expect what market of stable coins will totally like blow up, but not all stable coins were born equal. Okay. Well, it's going to be exciting to watch all this. So I think we're in for some big changes. Thank you so much, Alex, uh, the Chief Technology Officer at X Sigma. Mm-hmm.